All right, people, so 21 Savage is officially free. He hasn't walked out yet at this particular point, but he will soon. He was granted bond in Atlanta. Now, pardon me, but I did not know that ICE released people on bond. Bond? Huh. Anyways, check this out. Rapper 21 Savage was granted a $100,000 bond during a closed hearing in Atlanta on Tuesday and will be released from immigration detention on Wednesday, according to his attorneys minutes ago. The rapper whose real name is Shaya Bin Abraham Joseph was taken into custody earlier this month, what, nine days ago. Federal immigration officials say that he's a UK citizen who overstayed his visa in the US. His bond decision came amid increasing national attention surrounding his case in Congress and in Hollywood, and as lawmakers race to avert another federal government shutdown over immigration enforcement policies. So for all you hoo-hahs who are saying that he is from some island that is controlled by the UK and he has never been in the UK and all this other stuff, he is a UK citizen, okay? Now, he wants freedom, his attorney declared in a statement. <clears throat> his attorney said he won his freedom. 21 Savage asked us to send a special, special message to his fans and his supporters. He says that while he wasn't present at the Grammy Awards, he was there in spirit and is grateful for the support from around the world and is more than ever ready to be with his loved ones and continue making music that brings people together. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement opposed 21 Savage's release. According to Charles Chuck or Cook, one of the rapper's attorney, and I must tell you that he had three attorneys, a ICE spokesman declined to comment on the case, but he issued a statement in response to a group of the musicians' supporters who demonstrated outside of the immigration court as the hearing took place. So while his hearing was going on inside, there were people outside of the immigration courts in groups protesting for his release. They called for his release and advocated for ICE's abolition. Get rid of ICE is what they are saying. U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement fully respect the constitutional rights of all persons to peacefully express their opinions, he said. ICE spokesman Brian Cox. That said, ICE remains committed to performing its immigration enforcement mission consistent with law, federal law, and agency policy. Atlanta Immigration Judge J. Dan Pelletier closed Tuesday's hearing at the request of ICE and 21 Savage because the rapper is applying for a visa that allows crime victims to remain legally in the US. Now we're asking what crime victim? Crime victims to remain legally in the US meaning he, 21 Savage, was the victim of a crime. We don't know what that is, hasn't been revealed. I've said this before and I'm still trying to find details on exactly what crime he was a victim of. But it was in his record that he had applied for a visa and it's been on hold in processing for four years now. The big kahuna, Jay-Z. Jay-Z, when Jay-Z gets on your side and Jay-Z used his own attorney was added to the list of attorneys working on behalf of 21 Savage who also represented Jay-Z in his legal woes uh, years ago. And he spoke out against what was going on with 21 Savage. He said, Jay-Z said, this is just ridiculous. His visa application has been in the works for over four years now. Come on now. This, this is not justice. So people like Jay-Z, Post Malone, Cardi B, J. Cole, and many others have been very vocal about their support for... 21 Savage. I have something to say about that, but I'll finish this first. Meanwhile, the deportation case is still pending, and many may... Listen, the deportation case he has is still pending and may not be resolved for a couple of years. Now, 
either way you take it, he's not going home to a third world country where uh, opportunities are lacking or his finances are bad. He, if he's going home to the UK, he's going home to another so-called first world country where he can still collaborate and work with all the people that he he'll just be getting that bag in pounds right but the, the the deportation case is still pending and they're saying it may not be resolved for years that's what his lawyer said so he will seek a federal work permit in the meantime so I guess he's not allowed to do any shows or anything because right now he's an illegal immigrant and he's going to have to seek a federal work permit first and have one approved before you will see 21 Savage on any stage doing any shows or anything like that. But I'm sure for the amount of money he gets per show that Uncle Sam wants his cut of that check. So they're going to speedily give him a work permit. 21 Savage who has been held in the, Ar in the Irwin County Detention Center in South Georgia appeared at the hearing in Atlanta on Tuesday morning wearing an orange detention center jumpsuit uniform. His wife and mother also attended. When I said his wife, people are like, what? His wife? That nigga married? Yeah, he's married. So you didn't know he was from England, and you didn't know that he was married. Some people didn't know he had kids. So he's a full-blown married man with children. But again, you know, entertainment is entertainment, and reality is reality. Unfortunately, a lot of people think that entertainment is reality and they're unable to separate the two judge Pelletier was gracious and after hearing testimony and argument from both sides he weighed the factors and determined that my client is not a flight risk or a danger to our community like we have been saying for nine whole days cook said the rapper spoke powerfully about his life in court cook added he was persuasive he really presented himself as who he is, which is a very good young man, Cook said. He has come through this with an extraordinary amount of dignity. Outside the court building, a group of more than a dozen demonstrators unfurled a large pink banner that said, Abolish ICE, while announcing they had gathered 450,000 petition signatures demanding 21 Savage's freedom. It is completely unjust and a human violation. He has been living in this country since he was a young child, said Clarice McCants, criminal justice campaign director of Color of Change, a racial justice organization. What is happening to Shia right now is happening to black undocumented folks across this country. Ah, now you know. In December 21st, Savage album I Am, I Was was number one on the Billboard 200 charts. His debut solo album, Issa album, hit number one in July of 2017. Monday on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, rap producer Metro Boomin wore a 21 Savage coat on stage as he performed Space Cadet live with fellow music artist Gunna, also U.S. rep Zoe Lofgren, a California Democrat and chairwoman of the House Subcommittee on Immigration and Citizenship, issued a statement about 21 Savage's detention closely following his case, she said. Often individuals arrested by ICE while pursuing lawful status, individuals who are held without bond, who pose no threat nor risk flight, are not well known, she said. I hope that because of this status, he is a public figure and he's a public figure that we can shed further light on the policies and procedures of the Department of Homeland Security and that Shaya 21 Savage can appear as a witness before our subcommittee to help draw attention to these issues. So in hindsight or in closing, they're going to turn him into the poster child for this whole immigration movement. Over the weekend, several artists referenced 21 Savage at the Grammy Awards and related music events. Atlanta-based super producer Dallas Austin on the red carpet 
before Clive Davis pre-Grammy gala Saturday night said he believes 21 Savage is a casualty of bad timing. It's a shame he got caught up in something that's happened in America, period. The movement that's happening anyway with Trump, with the borders, the walls, and him trying to prove a point about immigration is just a bad time, Austin said. He's a good kid. He did change himself. He did make a career for himself. He did try to do something positive. If it wasn't for the timing, I don't think it would be as elevated as it is now. It's just an unfortunate situation. 21 Savage was also a minor part of Childish Gambino's double Grammy winning song, This Is America, and co-writer and producer Ludwig Garrison mentioned the rapper when he accepted the award during the telecast. 21 Savage should be here tonight, he said. Backstage, he added that he didn't know enough about Savage's current situation to comment any further, but believes that the rapper should have been allowed to attend the show. Now, who's going to let you out of ICE to attend the Grammys and then go back to ICE? Um, but anyways, rich and out of touch. Look, here's my thing. 21 Savage was lucky, okay? He was lucky because of the position that he's in. And to have people like Jay-Z and Cardi B and these kind of people who are very powerful at the moment, believe it or not, and they carry the brunt of social influence then. Right now, if Cardi B says the sky is red, you will have about a million people in less than five minutes that are ready to stand up and say, yes, it's red because Cardi B says so. So they have become powerful social beings. And when they get on your side with the money they have and the powerful lawyers behind them and all that, very good. Very good for you. But I want people to remember the many people that actually came. There are people that came here 25, 35 years ago, worked got themselves together, have houses, children, businesses. There are people who their children are going off to college now and they're being ripped out of their houses and being deported. There are little children that are being incarcerated, kept locked up in ice and separated from their family members. And I have never heard not one of these celebrities say anything about these children and these people. But more power to them. 